I bought this $5 Disney favourites ultimate colouring book. And as the name suggests, it is filled with popular Disney and also Pixar characters. <laughs> As a low-life horror artist, my mission in this video is to corrupt some beloved characters, ruin some childhood memories, and be on my merry way. Like and subscribe, and Disney, please don't sue me. And if you're having a major case of deja vu right about now, don't worry, you're not crazy. Well, you could be, but more explainably, you're probably one of the 30,000 people who saw this video originally when I posted it a year ago before taking it down because YouTube didn't like it for some reason and it had monetization issues. And it was getting suppressed. That's YouTube for you. So welcome back. A year has passed, I've done some editing, I've added extra drawings, so don't worry. There's new content here as well if you've already seen the old video. And I've put the new content at the start. And hopefully you've forgotten about the old drawings anyway and they'll feel new regardless. If you've got a terrible memory like me and I can watch movies that I saw years ago when they feel brand new. So inadvertently, this video has kind of become an interesting collaboration between past me and present me. So, Jordan from a year ago, thank you for setting the groundwork of this video, but don't worry, I'll take it from here. I think I succeeded in making the Cheshire Cat even more creepy than it normally is, if that's possible. Moving on to a cartoon that didn't disturb me as a child, Winnie the Pooh. Eeyore and Tigger were my favourite characters, if I remember correctly. I don't know about you guys, but lately I've noticed that there's been something sus about Pooh Bear. What is in those honey pots of his? Have you guys seen Tigger around lately? He's been gone for a while, and that's not like him. Pooh Bear is taking little Piglet to help him to fill up some more honey pots. Thanks Piglet, what a helpful friend. Speaking of friends, we've got an unlikely duo here from the Jungle Book. If you don't like blood and gore, you might want to skip this drawing. This transformation is going to be horrendous, so get prepared, I suppose. For the 
bare necessities of blood and guts and lots of teeth. Forget about your worries and your life. Alright, I'll stop there before this turns into a musical. That would be even more horrific than any drawing I could create. I can show you the world. Shut up! This is what happens if Aladdin went through a creepy pasta phase. If you can't tell by how pale my hands have become, that is because we have in fact travelled back in time. These drawings have been hidden for the past year. Content deemed too horrific for your innocent eyes to bear witness to. But today, that all changes. Prepare to be corrupted. It's really not that bad. I have no idea why YouTube had an issue with this. But here it is. Enjoy. Pinocchio, a marionette, must earn the right to become a real boy by proving to be truthful, brave, and selfless. He must also beat a still beating heart to complete his transformation. At least I think that's how the movies went. Next up, Elsa and Anna are having some fun in the snow. It all looks so wholesome. Just ignore the bleeding heart from the page next to it. Damn, way to kill the mood. The music's changed. So that means it's time to start corrupting these characters. Elsa has discovered a new form of dark magic, which she is testing out on poor little Anna. Anna would never look the same after the incident. In fact, she would never look at all, being blinded by the dark witchcraft of Elsa, her eyes liquefied into a dripping black goo. Mike is packed and ready for Monster University. It looks like he's packed quite heavy. And what is that strange smell coming from his suitcases? I'm probably just imagining things. It's not like he's a psycho killer monster who's got dead bodies packed into his suitcases. Definitely not.
Hey Mike, you little chicken nugget big eye dude. Anyway, have you seen Sully around? He's been missing the past week and I thought you might know something about where he's gone. You don't know anything. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. I'll see you later, mate. Quick warning, if you have trypophobia or really don't enjoy looking at drawings with lots of little holes, you might want to skip this next one. This is what happens if you swallow too many live bees. This is Jordan from the future. Interesting little fact, I ended up drawing something similar to this again recently. I thought this was a cool concept I did last year and then I took the video down, so I included it in a different video. But this was the original honeycomb drawing, if anyone cares. This was probably my favourite transformation from all of the older drawings in this video. So it was a shame when I had to take the video down, but now it's back up and you can enjoy it. They say you are what you eat, and Winnie the Pooh loves eating honeycomb. I'm going to try and give this Disney bunny a horror makeover. See if you can guess what game series it's from. Shout out to anyone who recognised this transformation as Robbie the Rabbit from Silent Hill. For the last drawing of this video, I'm going to be transforming these Toy Story characters into something a bit more creepy. If you've enjoyed the video so far and would like to support my channel and see more content from me, definitely subscribe. I upload new videos each week. Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. This is Jordan from the future, and that didn't age well. You actually upload videos way less frequently than that now. You spend more time on each drawing and making more drawings for each video, and that means you don't release videos every week. Try every second or third week instead. But anyway, please still subscribe. That helps out the channel, but only if you want to. Let's finish this video off, shall we?
Imagine if your old childhood toys grew sentient and tried to kill you in your sleep. Anyway, a year in the making and this video is finally done. What a journey. We've traveled through time, but we got there. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> Thank you so much to my amazing patrons for supporting my channel. I appreciate you all, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.